Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Naninga Koei. Thank you so much for joining me again today. So if you're actually suffering from massive pause like me, welcome, have a seat, take your cup of coffee, take your cup of tea. I'm going to give you some real tea. Yes, have a seat. I'm going to give you some real tea on how you can get rid of your massive pause. If you have massive pause, I have had massive pause most of my life, but nowadays, can you see any pause? I don't think so. You can see a bit of acne from wearing face masks, but you definitely cannot see pause. So welcome to my YouTube channel. If you aren't yet subscribed already, make sure that you hit the subscribe button before you leave this page, before I give you the real tea. Make sure that you hit the subscribe. Now, when it comes to videos like this ones, I usually want to make them really short because I want to get straight to the point. Nobody wants to hear me rambling about anything else, else except the tips. So the first tip that I'm going to give you if you want to reduce the size of your pores, and I'm talking about facial pores, I'm not talking about pores like pores like hands, no. I'm talking about facial pores. So if you do want to reduce the size of your facial pores, shrink them or whatever, so that they're not visible, the first thing that you need to do is actually to exfoliate your face. And the reason you have to exfoliate your face is because um, a buildup of bacteria is the one that usually causes your pores to enlarge. Why? Because the bacteria go inside your pores and they actually multiply in there. And then it starts producing excess sebum, trying to get rid of the bacteria, trying to, you know, counteract all that and in the process enlarging your pores and therefore you should exfoliate your face so that you can remove all the grime and the dirt from your face so make sure that you get an exfoliant it can be a chemical exfoliant or an abrasive exfoliant though we do not recommend abrasive exfoliants but we still use them i personally use an abrasive one and uh, yeah let's get into the next tip that you need to so the second thing that I'm going to tell you if you want to reduce the size of your pores is definitely to use a clay mask. And a clay mask goes hand in hand with using an exfoliant because the purpose is basically the same or similar to that of an exfoliant. Its purpose is to actually pull out the excess dirt and bacteria from your pores, from inside your pores, yes. When you put on the face mask, or the clay mask, specifically a clay mask. We're not talking about all these new masks that have come, serum masks, moisturizing masks. No, that's not the kind of mask I'm talking about. I'm talking about a clay mask, the traditional clay mask that you can even make at home. Now, this mask is going to pull out the bacteria and the grime and the dirt from your pores, and therefore it's going to help. Now, the next tip that I'm going to give you, by the way, guys, I'm not a certified... Um, what is it called dermatologist so definitely see a dermatologist if you really want to shrink your pores properly but this is for cheap people who don't want to do laser i hear there's some laser treatment for shrinking pores so this is this, the one that i'm talking about i'm not talking about laser treatment the one that i actually use to shrink my pores and i do this every single day ever since i discovered it in a vogue book written in 1950 something it was actually my mom's workbook and it was written in 1952 ever since i discovered it in that vogue book a guide to skin care by vogue i've been doing this always and that is wash your face with warm water not hot water lukewarm water water that is not going to burn your face neither is it going to shock you like to jump up because it's so cold so wash your face with lukewarm water and now for the juicy part after you've washed your face with lukewarm water splash the final splash or the final rinse splash it with cold water that's going to help shrink your pores because warm water actually opens up your pores so that the soap or whatever whatever you're using can get into the pores and then when you use the the cold water it closes the pores after you've cleansed your pores now you splash your face with cold water and now it closes your pores or it shrinks your pores that was awkward i live in africa we have cows all over us you have to see flies i'm sorry guys so the next thing the second thing that we are 
where was I? Always blank. So the next thing that I'm going to advise you to do is actually to use makeup that can hide your pores. And one of the one of the things that I can tell you is to follow this three step routine when applying your makeup, which is wash your face, of course, and then moisturize your face. And then apply primer. Primer is really good at um, hiding your pores. I know I've said in previous videos that primers is are one of the most useless items that you can have in your makeup routine. However, they are still important in certain things like hiding pores. So if you do apply your moisturizer, then buy a makeup primer and apply it on your face. Moisturizer, makeup primer, and then use a concealer. Definitely your pores are not going to be visible. So if you follow that simple three-step routine to your makeup, which is um, moisturizer, primer, concealer, and then your foundation, definitely your pores are not going to be visible. So, so that is my advice, guys, on how you can either shrink your pores or minimize them or hide your pores. So the first tip was actually for shrinking, the exfoliation, uh, chemical exfoliation, the clay mask and the splashing water on your face. Those ones were for shrinking your pores. And then the final tip, the last one, which was to use makeup, the three-step routine, moisturizing, priming, concealing before you apply your foundation. That is for hiding pores. So I hope you've gotten something from this video. And if you've actually gotten something from this video, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe. But anyway, um, I'll see you in my next video. I normally post content three times a week. So look out for my videos and I'll see you in my next video. Ciao.